But of course, tell me where you at? Your motivation guy is back. What's going on, everybody? Listen, I'm so excited to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you the best Fortnite player you could possibly be and the best person you could possibly be. And that's right, guys. I'm your motivation guy. I'm here to motivate you, right? So the ADS and the SMG meta this season has been on a rampage since day one. The ADS rifle saw some nerfs, and more recently, the SMG finally received a nerf. But overall, these two weapons have been spraying players to death, and it's time to put a stop to it. So sit back, relax, and we're going to show you guys all the ways you can stop getting sprayed each match. But uh, before we get that, you need to get my favorite candy. What's that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. All right, so first on this list, we have some tips to help you guys perfect your movement. Opponents can eliminate what they can hit, and for you to avoid getting sprayed to death, you're gonna need to perfect your timing and decision making. All right, so quick movement relies on you knowing every possible direction and method of running circles around your opponents. You also need to sharpen your mind to make those decisions quickly. All right, so the most basic tip that you should know is to never move in a straight line or out in the open. Always take those corners to get closer to your opponents and never give them the benefit of having a clear shot. Don't forget, guys, to implement sliding into your moves, whether it be downhill or just when redeploying and just landing on an opponent. This is going to give them less time to react and hopefully buy you the time that you need to take the offensive. If you're already getting sprayed, then uh, what you do next can really save your life. Okay, so one strategy players use is having chili peppers, okay? Uh, chug splashes or spicy fish in the inventory depending on the availability during the match. You know, lightning from the latest weather update is also good for getting a speed boost, but it is less predictable and you need something that you can use at any moment. And this speed boost is just what you need to outrun your opponent's bullets just to make sure you apply uh, slides and jumps and zigzag motions, okay? Need to find some more strategies to help you guys get a one-up over your opponents? Check out ProGuys.com by clicking on the link below. You can get in contact with a variety of different Fortnite coaches that can help you guys practice and play like the pros. So don't wait. Start unleashing your full potential today. All right, so we all know how easy it is to put down wood whenever you want to start building. However, since wood can easily be taken down, you should also consider some of the alternatives. I'm, of course, talking about stone and steel. Steel is probably the best material to build with, but, uh, you know, due to the scarcity, we just don't recommend wasting on it, like protecting yourself with it from SMG and ADS rifle fire if you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an opponent, all right? While it has the most starting health, it can also be brought down quickly if your opponent starts spraying as soon as you place it down. If anything, guys, stone should be the material you use if you have some good distance from your opponent. Stone can be harvested in bulk from rock formations all over the island and you know having a steady supply makes it way easier to replenish than using steel. The extra defenses will ensure that your opponent will have a harder time hitting you but also the extra cover is going to make your movements harder to spot from behind. Because we are dealing with two completely different types of weapons, distance will either be very effective or moderately effective, all right? Because of the SMG's range, it's most effective at close range. The further you are away from your opponent, the less effective getting sprayed is going to be. However, the ADS rifle is very effective at long range thanks to how it fires when aiming down with sights. It's also useful for making impossible peaks. Ironically enough, the ADS rifle isn't the best weapon to use up close and personal. It could be quite awkward to land that shot when your opponent is at point blank range and making sharp turns around you. This is more of a job for the SMG. Distance is also good for when you want to take the offensive and try to land a few hits yourself. If your opponent is coming after you with the intention of spraying you to death, then odds are their health situation is probably not too dire. If you can land a few hits before going on the defensive, you can just break their concentration a bit so they can just focus less on spraying your head and just taking a slower approach, all right? So if you have a good distance between the two of you, you can sometimes deter them from coming after you all together. Keep in mind though, there are always going to be those players that's going to keep firing at you even if you get their health down to 20. They're just that determined to take you down. All right, so for the ADS rifle, one of the toughest things to account for is its ability to land shots even when you're behind cover. It has proven a very effective weapon to use for making peaks during box fights, but also for landing perfect headshots on opponents far away. However, when taking cover, you not only need to pay attention to your exposed bits, but also how long the cover is going to last you. The spray meta is not just popular for how much health they can knock out of you in a heartbeat, but also how quickly it can eat away through builds. Wooden walls will go down quickly if your opponent has an SMG or ADS rifle. Rifle. However, the same also applies for the default buildings. While you may think you have a nice spot hiding by a window within a building, always keep an eye out for the health of the wall you're behind. If it goes down, that can catch you by surprise 
and you're not gonna have enough time to move to a different position. If anything, guys, try finding covers somewhere that you have easy access to another wall and just try not to stand dead center of a build. Corners are great since you only need to shift position slightly to be behind cover again. If you stay in the center when the wall comes down, those extra seconds it takes to get behind cover can cost you. So if you want to avoid getting hit, but you also want to deal some damage, try landing a few shots and then duck for cover. The best thing that you can do to avoid getting sprayed is just staying out of the line of fire. If you see your yourself starting to miss shots don't hesitate man to change positions all right it's just better to avoid getting hit and reload than to keep firing and just missing shots and just leaving yourself open speaking of reloads don't forget to keep an ear out for the sounds of reloading weapons okay this is going to let you know when your opponent is open and you can try pushing them try keeping the audio visual settings on for even more on-screen information you know, sometimes when you need to start getting an edge in your opponents, it's adding a little bit of trickery into your plays. Getting sprayed only takes a few seconds of constant fire and direct hits to eliminate you. So much of this also depends on how well your opponent can predict your movement. This is how they know where to aim and can really already have their crossers on you when you turn a corner. So at times you wanna make sure that your opponent has a multiple choice situation on their hands when trying to predict your movements. Building multiple ramps is a good way of getting high ground, but also forcing your opponent to predict which ramp you're gonna be running up. In fact, if you want, don't even do that, all right? Turn the corner and while your opponent is waiting for you to pop off the top, land a few shots from down below. All right, so deploying the shield keg is also a tactic that you can use to redirect fire and heal up a bit too. The shield keg is one of the newest items recently added to the game and it's going to heal you and nearby players shields so what's interesting about this item on the playing field is how it affects combat the shield keg is an item that gets deployed into the ground and has its own health bar i love it and it's also going to continue to remain active during a certain period of time before becoming inactive and so what's interesting about this item is how many players feel the need to destroy it in order to cut off healing because of this deploying the shield keg gives your enemy an extra target to go after if they want to take you down they can either continue firing at you and hope they don't need to reload anytime soon or they can go after the keg to cut off your healing aura. So this trick is psychological and will work depending on how good your opponent is and just keeping their eye on the goal as well as how much confidence they have in their aim. All right, so speaking of healing items, the new spray meta means that you can see your health going from 200 down to zero pretty quickly. Because of this, guys, you should have some faster healing items on you at all time. These would be items that can heal chunks of your health in the least amount of time. And so these items include the flopper and the chug splash. The flopper is great for healing 40 health faster than it takes to apply a bandage. And, you know, the chug splash is just great for when you need quick health or shields. And so if a player is not on your tail, then you might not have time to really apply full heals, such as the big shields or the med kit the healing spray while a great item for healing in other scenarios isn't quick enough to give you that edge when you're just getting sprayed by bullets so the best healing strategy would be to pop a few walls or turn a corner into a building all right this should give you guys enough cover and buy you enough time to apply heals you're not going to have much time before you're just getting blasted again so this is where the fast healing items is going to come in handy all right, so before we leave today don't forget to visit proguys.com for more help maximizing your fortnite skills but you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I just wanna say I'm so proud of you guys. Keep going, keep your head up, stay going, just stay going. That's all I have to say. Sometimes we wanna quit, but just keep moving those feet. Keep being active, keep just pressing in into your purpose. You got it, okay? You got it. That's gonna be it for today's video. I want you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel, spread the word to all your friends because we got so much content coming out on this channel. We'll see you on the next one, peace.